Hey guys, how's it going? Master of Soul here. Today I'm going to show you how to make gold in DFO. Now keep in mind, the game has only been launched for one week, and then in the past seven days, I have made about 15 million gold already. So how did I do it? Well, today I'm going to show you about three strategies on how to make gold. And the first one, first strategy is the beginner's guide. At this stage of the game, you probably don't have a lot of gold to operate with. You might have 150k or you might have like 1 million so what do you do? well one of the things you want to go do is go on auction house you want to search for items that people buy for example the emperor seal the seal of emperor helm it's selling for quite a lot it's selling for 14,000 each why? is it because a lot of people want to awaken so what you want to do is, you go to dungeons, you farm those items over and over again, and once you finish farming them items, you sell them on the auction house, and then you make money that way. For the pricing, you want to price about 10 to 20 gold cheaper than the cheapest one selling on the auction house. So if I have like 30 I want to sell, I will probably sell it for... Actually in this case, what I'm going to do is, since this one is selling way below the average price, I'm just going to buy it out and resell it for around 16,000. Oh, see, I can't because it's already been bought out by other people and it's probably going to be resold. And in this case, once you post down the auction house, it will probably take a while to sell. But that's one way to make gold. And then the second strategy is going to anticipate market change. Back to the same example of awakening. People need a lot of materials to awaken. For example, they need white cube fragments, which cost about 899 gold each, and also red cube fragment, which cost about 839 each. Now, do you know that the prices for these two cube fragments were only 600 each about only three days ago? That's a 200 gold difference. And if you knew that a lot of people are going to awaken, you will know that they are going to need a lot of cube fragments and if you're smart and if you have enough fun to operate with I've seen people bought out pages of cube fragments like three days ago they just bought off all of them all of the cube fragments and then they will just resell them for much higher prices when people needed them and then so make a profit that way and that's the second strategy anticipate market change and then now I'm going to talk about the third strategy on how to make money, how to make gold in the FO. That is by flipping the market, by flip, flipping the items. This is the rich man's game, and you need a very in-depth knowledge of how the game works, what items people want. So I'll make an example right here really quick. I'll search for a legendary recipe. There is one item, where is it? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I think it's this one. This one. This item was selling for 2 million gold about 4 days ago, when it's like the third day when the game launched. And a lot of people don't know, including myself, don't know how good the item is until someone made a Reddit post. And then I realized that this item is going to worth a lot of money because it gives over 100 intelligence on a ring. I do not recall seeing any, any ring. Any ring. Level 70 or above. That gives you more than 60 intelligence. And this level 20 legendary gives you over 100 ring. And the best part is that 60 intelligence is an aura. Which means if you're playing a summoner, like my case, your minions got the buff from yourself, and they also get a buff because it is an ore. And therefore, this ring, even though it was selling at 1 million gold 4 days ago, now it's worth at 11 million gold. And if you know about this item, if you know about the recipes, you could just buy the items, wait a couple days, and then make a much, 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 much high profit margin by selling them for over like 11 million gold. But at the same time, this is also a very risky, very, very risky investment. Because if you think that people are going to buy something like 
like shooting star. You a shooting star. If people, if you think that people are going to buy shooting star and you decide to buy them for two million gold because it, it was about two million gold when the game initially launched, and then you want to resell them later on, thinking that you might able to sell them for five or six million, but let's say, let's say the price is still at two million gold and didn't go up. That means you lost money in that case because that money you could have used to spend on other places. So. With this rich man's game, you can either make a lot of money overnight, or you can lose all of it. It's the same same, same strategy as reinforcing your weapons to 13, 14, or 15, and flip that weapon for the gold cap. And so those three are the three basic strategies I have for you guys. I hope you enjoy your I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you enjoy your stay in the land of Arid. Oh wait, never mind. It's destroyed. Goodbye. See you guys next time. Oh, before I leave, there's one last thing I want to show you guys. After you farm all the items, after you flip all the items, and you decide to post them on your auction house before you go to sleep, and then the next time you come back, if you did everything correctly, you should see your emails filled with gold. And all you have to do is to select all, click receive, and watch your gold count go up and up and up and up and up and up I hope you enjoy oh well oh, wait there's more and up and up and up so there it is uh, goodbye